So you want to buy a truck. Should you buy new or should you buy used? My name is Jonathan, founder of Driving Academy, and we help people every single day get started in the actual trucking career. So we help them right from the beginning, getting themselves a CDL license. And after they get their license, for those people who want to start their own business, want to purchase their own truck, we actually help them out with that too. So in this video, we're going to give you the pros and cons on whether you should go new truck or you should go for a used truck. Let's see exactly what's going on. So before we make this decision, let's actually think about it from a business point of view. Okay, so you actually are getting paid as a truck driver by actually transporting products from point A to point B. That's gonna be your revenue side of it. Now your expense side of it is gonna be things like fuel, insurance, truck payments itself, and maintenance are gonna be the main expense items itself, right? So the first question you have to understand is whether you should buy a new truck or used truck is, am I gonna make any more money if I buy a new truck versus a used truck? Because if that's the case, then you can actually put, do a good point on actually saying, hey, I wanna buy a new truck simply because it's gonna help me generate more revenue. You. But unfortunately, new truck or used truck, you're going to make the same amount of money because when you're talking to the broker or you're talking to the customer, the customer is not going to ask you and say, hey, what year is your truck again? Oh yeah, okay, you're, you have a 2024 truck. Okay, let me put, pay you an extra 500 bucks because you have a brand new truck. No one's ever going to say that at all, right? So whether you have a 2024 truck or a 1999 truck, you're going to get paid the exact same to transport that product from point A to point B. So right now, used trucks are actually winning because a new truck is not going to help you generate any more revenue. Now, the other side of business is you have to watch your expenses. So now the question is, hey Jonathan, if I buy a new truck, that means I might be able to reduce my expenses and it might make more sense to me, right? Because new trucks don't break down as much as old trucks. And that is correct. But the thing that you do not understand is new trucks cost a whole lot more money, which means two of your expenses do go up. You're going to have a bigger truck payment uh, as you go through because you bought a truck that's a lot more expensive. So the payments on that truck is going to be higher. And because the value of that truck is higher, your insurance cost is actually going to be higher as well, right? New trucks itself are actually more expensive to operate simply because of the higher price point that you're paying them at and the higher insurance to cover that expensive truck. Now, when it comes to the repairs, and this is what I hear all the time. Well, Jonathan, uh, that means if I get a new truck, I don't have to worry about any repairs, right? Well, well, that's where people are mistaken. Unfortunately, new trucks break down just like old trucks break down. Now, is the likelihood of a new truck breaking down a lot less than a used truck? 100% yes. But if you buy the right used truck, you will actually have a lot more money in your pocket while you're going through the trucking industry itself, right? So let's just work out this example. Brand new truck, you're talking $150,000, $200,000 per truck. Think how big the truck payments are going to be. Now, we're talking about a truck that has about 300,000 miles on it that's good the truck that we usually recommend three four hundred max and a truck like that you can purchase anywhere from like 40 to like 65 70 thousand dollars so just in the price difference alone you're saving a tremendous amount of money so if you just think about it logically speaking you're gonna have to break down that truck a whole lot almost like double the cost of the truck, triple the cost of the truck, just to get you to what you paid for your original truck. So if you paid $150,000 for the brand new truck, and you paid $50,000 for the used truck, you can buy three used trucks for what it's gonna cost you for a brand new truck. Now, you might be saying, well, Jonathan, the new truck, I'm just going to finance it and it's not really going to cost me anything. That's bullshit because at the end of the day, the ultimate goal of business is to make as much profit as possible. So profit comes from the cash flow that is generating. So that means the higher your payments are, that means the less money you're going to be making every week from your business itself. I would start off with a cheaper truck, again, forty to $70,000 max to get yourself started. Make sure it's 300,000 miles around there, maybe 400,000 miles to the maximum, and then you would have the most efficient time because it's relatively of a new truck. It's something that's going to be working for you so you don't have to worry about it, right? And you can make as much profit as possible going through the cycle. So for my final decision, I highly recommend going for a used truck, like I said, but if you're somebody who doesn't want to deal with anything, maybe go spend a whole bunch of money on a brand new truck. Make sure you get a nice warranty package. Make sure you get uh, a conversation with a dealer where, hey, if you have to bring your truck in, they're going to give you a loaner truck for free. And if you work out all those deals itself, then maybe in that case it's better to go new. But it's always better to go used in the beginning because you can even sell that truck when you're done and you can make more money on it than you can on a brand new truck. So 
I hope this helped you out. If you're looking to get your CDL license, go to the best CDL truck driving school in the entire country called Driving Academy. Check out our website for a location near you, cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.